They are the youngest casualties of a nearly three-year-long civil war. The children of Yemen face violence and increasingly hunger on a daily basis. This aid worker was in Yemen shortly after the fighting started and he's afraid of how it will end. Diseases like cholera or diphtheria hitting kids just as badly as famine. And their bodies are so uh, small and they're so vulnerable that, uh, that they tend to die uh, quicker than, than the average. Three million people have been forced to flee their homes. Many now live in makeshift camps with little to no food, water or health care. The health system is, is virtually collapsed. So when a child or anyone uh, develops a disease, gets injured, otherwise needs uh, access to basic health care, they have very few options. Hope comes in rare spurts in Yemen. Saudi Arabia allowed the reopening of the port of Hobeida recently, letting in some supplies. But food is so expensive, it often sits in markets as children starve nearby. For UNICEF, Yemen is a prime example of a worrying pattern in conflict zones, an increasing impact on children. Health and education, normal parts of a, of a childhood, have been taken away. It means that Children are being denied their basic, the basic needs, their basic rights for survival. Yemen also faces a growing cholera epidemic. The disease has been eradicated from most of the developed world, but in Yemen it looms large. Doctors in one hospital estimated it killed 15 children in the womb during the months of September and October. The Red Cross says cholera has now reached a million people in the country. Rafi Bujikan, UNCBC News, London.